was good. Now, for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, y'all would know that I am a massive Avatar fan. I grew up with Avatar Last Airbender, and actually, recently over the past three years or so, I caught all the way up with Korra, and I actually really enjoyed Korra. I actually think Korra is actually pretty overhated. Now, granted, there were some things that I really didn't like, especially within the second season. I think Korra's character was kind of, you know, insufferable. But overall, quality show. Definitely worth the time. Now, about a year or so ago, maybe a little beforehand, it was announced that the Avatar the Last Airbender series is getting a live action adaptation on Netflix. And understandably, this had a lot of heads turning, including myself. Now, this was getting attention for both good and bad reasons. Part of the good was that, okay, it's an actual series, not a movie, so they are allowed to take their time more, kind of breathe a little bit. The bad part was we've already had an Avatar live action adaptation and it was sh I'm not gonna rag on this too long, but I mean, everybody and their mother knows how bad Avatar, The Last Airbender, the movie was from M. Night Shyamalan. I, I, I don't even know why he made that movie. It really just seemed like he didn't care about the lore or anything like that, nor did he care about like a universe that he was trying to establish. I mean, they f***ing teased Azula at the very end, like it was gonna be some like Avengers level sh but nah, man, I mean, they, I don't know. So I will never forget that scene where you have like five in Earthbenders and they're over here <laughs> over one rock to move. Like they did like a whole 20 second choreographed dance for one tiny rock. It, it was disgusting. <laughs> Never mind the fact that a lot of the stuff in that movie was changed from the source material, which is weird because the source material didn't even need to be changed. Like firebenders could not produce their own fire. They had to grab it from external sources. But you have places like where they go into the water tribe, like they're basically useless because they can't produce it. They have to summon it from like a lamp or some other shit. Like it's just stupid. The firebenders in the animated series were just like, they they decimated every nation that they tried to go against. You know what I mean? Even even the earth nation, right? And the earth nation was considered like, you know, like they're the entire people and they still clapped them up whenever they fought them then when you go to the live action it's like oh like okay i'll be real with you i don't even remember if did they animate zuko like almost freezing to death they i don't even know i i i don't remember nor do i care i'm trying to erase that memory out of my mind as well as dragon ball evolution i'll make a video on that someday <laughs> they're pretty fun <laughs> but i definitely need this series to be good first and foremost i think the casting for the most part is fine the guy playing Sokka allegedly for all legal purposes allegedly lied about being of intuit descent i don't really care i mean i i would assume if i was of that nationality it would mean a lot to me to have representation like that uh i mean i dude if you if you want to get canceled i don't fucking know that I, hey good luck I, I, that's a pretty stupid shit to lie about honestly like you could lie about like a lot of things also this is very random but according to my driver's license I'm 5'11". In reality, I'm about like 5'9", five 5'10". Five but according to the government, I'm 5'11", so I'm almost six foot. One of the biggest things for me is that this is going to be the third time if you've only watched the original series and if you've watched the movie, this is the third time we're going through this series up to book one, right? Up to the end of book one. What are they going to do differently? Now, we've seen all these plot points before, so are we going to start getting a lot of filler content? Are they going to change the general story structure around? I, I, I don't know. These are all questions I have. Ideally, I would want this to be like a 15 to 16 episode series. I doubt that's going to happen. It's going to be so expensive. It's probably going to be around, I believe, uh, live action One Piece's uh, level, which we'll actually talk about in a second. But I, I think that was like eight or nine episodes, something like that. I think it was eight. I think it was eight. The effects, I'm not as worried about. Now, granted, Avatar by itself isn't as zany as One Piece. I mean, yeah, like Luffy, you know, stretching and, and all that, that's gonna be obviously almost as expensive, but like a lot of these earth bending and, and water bending and air bending effects, they're still gonna be exp expensive, but I hopefully not as much. Appa, I, I I don't know what they're gonna do with Appa. I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, shit, I don't even think this, they show Chopper in the live action One Piece. So, I mean, good luck, I guess. Hopefully it's not gonna be like live action Stitch because ugh. honestly, and this is me just being being as upfront as I can. If the overall plot is identical to the series, that's fine. I would don't know how I'm gonna like that when it happens. But the biggest thing for me is the choreography, right? Is the choreography and the martial arts, right? That's what's gonna really start to change uh, people's opinions because 
I'm gonna be real with you. There's gonna be a lot of people that are coming to this with a negative mindset, and it's completely understandable. I get it. Like when they first announced there was getting a live action adaptation, my first thought was, why? I mean, shit, the original series is still holding up to this day with, with grace. I mean, even Korra is still going strong pretty hard. I mean, he's got his dedicated fan base and all that, but I mean, I, I, I don't, I, why, 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 who asked for a live action adaptation of this? I don't understand. I don't know if this is for new fans because it, the original only ended in 2008, which was, oh my God, the original ended 16 years ago. Good Jesus. I really just don't, I, I really don't think it was needed, man. I, I, I definitely don't think that anyone was begging for this, but as long as the choreography is good, as long as the acting is good, I'm not even going to say that it's a, if it's a mediocre or anything like that, it's going to satiate me. No, I, I need the acting to be good. Please, please, please. I am a little curious how they're going to enter with some of these more fantastical elements as far as like you know, the big badger moles and the dragons later on and and all this stuff. I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to do like the invasion of the, the water temple and all that. I mean, again, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars. It's such a, you know, a fantasy based story. Now, granted, like the actual martial arts, it's, it's, it's one of the grounded elements of the story. But man, I, they start getting into real like the spirit realm. Uh, and uh, was it? Ko? I think it was Ko, uh, the the uh, the face stealer, right? That that's actually something I am looking forward to. Um, I, I've seen some footage uh, from the kid that's going to uh, be playing Ang. I think he's going to do a great job. Honestly, I think the kid that played Ang in the last Airbender by M Night, M. Night Shyamalan, I think he did a fantastic job. It was just the entire movie was shit. I mean. Ang, 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 Ang. Like, what? like, I don't. Was it ever explained why Shyamalan like changed all the names around? Like Ang, Eero. I, I don't. It just seemed like really pretentious for the sake of being like pretentious. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Now, with the success of the live action adaptation of One Piece, I definitely think that this is probably going to ease a lot of people's worries as far as this being, you know, cringy or as far as this being, you know, oh, it's just, you know, it's just, you know, Disney level live action. Sh believe that this will be at worst okay i, I believe I, I they already pretty much had a trial run of what not to do explicitly and i'm very much so hoping that they take everything that was bad with the original adaptation and they are you know of the uh and i'm saying anime of the show and they move forward in a positive direction i'm hoping that the director is going to do a good job with this but again we'll see i i don't know i'm i'm really not a big fan of all of these shows and, and movies and all that getting live action adaptations and series it just seems kind of lazy it just really seems like i i it, it's it's to, it's to serve more casual people that really like oh animation's not a real medium uh i do feel like generally that position and stance is getting kind of dated i think especially now you know with my generation you know, I'm, I'm 23 coming up on 24 and a lot of you know people my age like you no know, they look at animated stuff and you know they're like oh like it's not as bad i mean like yeah you have your big mouth and family guy or whatever the hell yeah, even like rick and morty and those things are animated but you know animation is not strictly seen as for kids that's, that's kind of a, a dated view so I, I actually am thankful that I, i'm kind of growing up in this time a lot of these side stories i don't know if they're gonna get adapted i i, I really don't know i mean uh again is Jet going to be in the show? Are we going to have uh, Bato and the Water Tribe? Are we going to are we going to see, you know, the, the Northern Air Temple or whatever? Uh, uh, yeah, the Northern Air Temple was the no, the Eastern Air Temple. Eastern Air Temple is where um, uh, the young guy with the with the um, disability was and his dad. I, I think it was the Eastern one, right? I believe just stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if all of these side stories that helps establish like character relationships and all that are going to work out. I believe the storm is probably going to be adapted and hopefully that that's, that's one of the more mature uh, episodes of the series and kind of coming to that grief of, yes, he did leave his people, but you know, he's got to, he's got to deal with it. He's here now. You know, um, I hope that, they get all of those story beats right. Um, as far as Zuko's character goes, I mean, all the all these kids look about the same uh, same age as they did in the show. So, I mean, that's that's good. Again, I have no problem with the casting. I hope the character of Zuko gets done properly. Uh, Zuko is one of my favorite characters in fiction. I mean, Zuko alone is like a top like ten like animated piece of media episode for me that I absolutely adore that episode. But we will see. Uh, again, I, I'm 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 cautiously optimistic about this show man but uh yeah let me know what you guys think man do you guys are you guys gonna be rooting for the show or you guys think this show is gonna, gonna suck uh, i don't really know man i just I, I don't know my balls are shrinking every time i think about this show so we'll We'll see. Anyway, guys, me boy, Daffy, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. I would appreciate you having me on my channel. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.
Peace.